Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Digimon Hacker's Memory. I'm still quite ill for, and it has, I've been ill for about two or three weeks, but I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I should be healthy soon, but I've got enough in me right now that I can do a few episodes of Digimon, so let's get going. In the last episode, Tokyo changed as Digimon have invaded the real world, and we are going to work with Faye to capture Ryuji, who has gone a little nanners. But, between episodes, I did some work. So, I have done a bunch of optimization that those of you who know the series will probably be happy with. So, Farm 1 is my farm where I'm not touching anybody to do anything with anything. With the exception of Max, I kind of want to use him for offense occasionally. But, as you can see from that list, I have made everybody here a searcher and now they finish investigations in only 20 minutes. We have a farm that is responsible for increasing these monsters' attacks. And we have a farm that is responsible for increasing these monsters' uh, intelligence. So, and I finally realized the purpose of having long um, training sessions. It's because it doesn't damage Cam. And now that I realize that those increases to stats are passive, there's no reason not to do them at the lowest setting unless you really need to push someone to get to a certain number, but you don't want to damage Cam because then that damages your overall maximum numbers. So these four are at 100 Cam and they will stay that way as they are still uh, trying to get their intelligence up. So you see Oracle here has a total of plus 90 uh, bonus stats. We're going to pull attack down once she's able to get promoted to the Ultra Mommy and then we'll just do intelligence from there. Also, you may notice that Wraith is in the is in here because I have decided I love Wraith too much. She's come too far with us, and I don't want to lose her. Oh, her cam is less than a hundred. Hmm, wonder when that happened. So, because of that, oh, I remember why I did that. Part of the reason I did that is we have a new leather mommy named Sacrifice who is. <laughs> a sacrifice. She's only in the team to get to Cam 100, and then we're going to sacrifice her uh, for Oracle to level up and evolve. Um, we have Beefcake, Pop-Tart, Anka, uh, Sting, Jelly Roll, Jazz, and Slash. Some of them are new. Um, they've just been added to the team temporarily for whatever reason. Um, my attack mon should all be at 100. Yeah, so they're there just gaining stats. Now, some of them need to be changed around. Like, Lydia's got too many stats going on. Um, Meatloaf's mainly fine, but he's got some numbers that need to come down. So, I did try to do a little research on wikis and things to figure out exactly why the stats are a little out of control, like for Lydia. And, I mean, Lydia's numbers are a bit funky because she's wearing gear, but... I've come to realize that the type of creature that you have as your leader changes what stats everyone gains. So I'm having to do a little bit more cautious min-maxing in order to get everyone's numbers where I want them. But it doesn't matter if I don't quite get there. I, since I'm never going to play this game competitively or anything like that, it's probably not a huge deal. But, I figured if I'm gonna do this, I may as well do it right, like I do many things in my life. So, here we are, just trying to increase our power. So we're basically down to the B team, because of these 11 Mon, I really don't care about most of them. Uh, my A team is all sitting in the, in the uh, farms getting better. Um, and that's okay, we're gonna s move people in and out before we get to the end of the game. But the main thing we're trying to do for this team is to get Sacrifice's Cam to 100, which I could probably easily do now, just throwing things at her, throwing items, but I don't really need to worry about that until Oracle hits level 60, because at that point she can be promoted. And Oracle is, I think it was 53? So she's getting there. Yeah, she's 53. She's getting there, but she's not quite there yet. And I guess with Wraith, we'll 
shove some meat in her mouth. Uh, yeah, I know what I said. So, uh, yeah, so Oracle's ready to get, be promoted once she hits 60, level 60, and I think she's going to get more experience points with me. But so it goes. Did I ever put the thing back? Yes. No, I didn't. Trying to remember if I sold or if I still have the item that increases experience gain from for light element creatures. I may have sold it. No, I didn't. It's here. Okay. So we're going to move that over to Farm Island 3 as well, because this is the Oracle show at this point. Like, is it, I don't care about anyone or anything else. And I still haven't read um, on any wikis the exact way this works. Like, if this having this dilutes the training, or if these are just additive. And I, uh, as I'm recording this episode, those episodes where I asked that question, you guys have not been released yet. So, all told... I still don't 100% know how the system works, but I've got enough knowledge now that I'm making confident choices to min-max my people. So that's it for the update. That was kind of long, a little tour of the Digilab. So now we need to... I'm actually not sure what I need to do. I Last time I remember we were kind of palling around Tokyo trying to find different things to do and seeing Ryuji. Um, we'll never... Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got cases to do, of course, that's right. So, I did clear out all the blue and green cases we had. We've got more green cases now, mainly hackers, and those all times to skip around for you. Um, oh, and I have a list going now. Let me pull up my notes here. So, we have 15 hackers that we've beaten, possibly 16? If they're counting the one that Mirai gave us in the first place, I don't remember. Um, but we have six more on the list. And so I'm just keeping track of their names so I can keep count of how many we've beaten. And so let's see what we've got at the Digi Farm. Uh, okay, we've got two um, domination battles I don't need to worry about. So let's bang out the six hackers I've got on my list. Starting with Auction Scammer Tetsuji. Kowloon level 1. Should be quick and easy. These fights are not worth my time XP-wise. But if I get one point of cam, regardless of the power level, then it's worth it. Yeah, sacrifice gained a point of cam. So, that's why I'm walking through this and not turning on the high security thing, because we want cam. Where the hell is the hacker? I'm on Kowloon level 1. I'm gonna have to poke around a little bit more. Okay, I am not losing my mind. The BBS says it's on Kowloon level 1. However, when I go to my player profile thingy, it says head to Kowloon level 3. I thought I was going crazy and that I had misread the email because we all know that I skip over text sometimes. But I was not. Wrong. The game is wrong this time. Here we go. Talk to me, dude. I've dispatched the item, or at least that's what the buyer thinks. Digimon make rewriting the dispatch information a piece of cake. Stop scamming people. You can't be a hacker if you're afraid to break a few laws. Well, good thing we get to teach this jackass a lesson. Alright, we... For two datas and a vaccine. I don't think it's worth having to sub anybody out. No, we're gonna be fine. Man, Sacrifice has a lot of speed. This L Lady Devi Demimon, in addition to being my type of uh, Digimon uh, from appearance, um, has some good stats. That's one reason why I can't get rid of Wraith. Like, she's come too far, she's done too much for us, she hits like a friggin' truck. I- I can't do it, man. I can't get rid of Wraith. So, uh, I had no problem, especially knowing that I was going to have to do some work off-camera. Uh, there was no reason for me to sacrifice her when we could have just pulled up a new Digimon. 
I wouldn't say they're completely disposable, but it, it's pretty quick to get a Digimon from level 1 to level whatever you want. I can't believe I lost. Please, don't destroy my account. Okay. Well, that was easy. So, yeah, I, I just had to make a new Digimon. And it didn't take that long for me to suss out a, an evolution path thanks to the field guide. So, I really love this system. And I know I've said that a thousand times. I don't care. It's just a good system. It let me do exactly what I wanted to do without sacrificing a Digimon that had come a long way for us. So, in fact, I don't think she has very many stats. Yeah, the only added stats she has are from equipment, so... I didn't want to just throw away all the work we had done with Wraith, you know? Alright, there's that one done. Let's see... So, one down, a few to go. Beat Male Thief Shinsaku on under Kolun level 4. Now my question is, is it actually on under Kolun level 4? Let's check our BBS thing and see. It is under Kolun level 4. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assume there was just one mistake out of the hackers and just trust the emails from now on. Let's head to under Kolun level 4. Here's our... Here's our target. Oh, Nisi, why? Ugh. I just love reading other people's emails. Some of the things they write are so embarrassing. You're a hacker, you know what I mean, right? You want me to stop? Don't you know how fun it is? Well then, there's nothing else to say. Funny about that, I'm actually getting into- Nisi, please. Please stop. Okay, hi baby. Oh my god. It's like you haven't seen me in years or something, when it's been five seconds. Anyway. Um, I, uh, I'm petting her ear and scratching her neck, so clearly there's a reason she keeps coming back. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I've started playing a lot more, um, uh, like surveillance games? I've just been interested in playing surveillance games. Um, I played, uh, Do Not Feed the Monkeys. I, I never did that for the channel. I was going to, and... It just didn't agree with me. Um, but this whole, like, spying on people reading their email thing, that's what made me think about it. Strangely enough, I am interested in doing that, Mr. Hacker, but we're good guys in this world, and uh, we can't abide by an idiot who apparently will order one Mon to do a full heal on a Mon that's already fully healed. So we're going to have to punish you for your stupidity and also hubris. Alright, this guy's got a ton of hit points and defense. So I am going to change out what I've got here. He is a data type, so we need to get any viruses in. So that's Anka and Jelly Roll. Make that hip hop, he's got a higher level. I love that I have my camo wolf. I don't think I had him prior to my time skip either, so... Uh, it's been fun getting a lot of mom that I like. And I've gotten a little farther on Cyber Sleuth. I am actually very glad I didn't play Cyber Sleuth first. Um, we had a mods meeting uh, among... Well, it was really at the, that time it was just Legend Mark, two of my mods. Uh, who are who have played these games and are big fans of it and they were kind of pushing me to play the games um, And we were trying to decide which one I should do first and part of the argument in favor of This game I'm trying to remember if either of them mentioned the plot that I don't think they did but I'm glad I'm playing this one first because as I'm playing cyber sleuth the plot's a bit weird and disjointed, and maybe Cyber Sleuth picks up, because um, I'm only in Chapter 5 of Cyber Sleuth. Uh, and, of course, knowing sort of the main plot of this game and the writing and all that, I'm sure that it gets better. But it, it doesn't have a very good first impression. It's very disjointed and more childish than even I generally prefer in my writing. So... If I had played Cyber Sleuth first, I may have tapped out before I got to the good parts. And that would have been a, sh a shame. Um, 
because I'm really loving Hacker's Memory. So it, it kind of worked out. I mean, even even if Hacker's Memory has spoilers for Cyber Sleuth, I don't think that's going to be a bad thing because Hacker's Memory is still a new story to me. Um, it would have been more of a problem if I had played like... 70% of Cyber Sleuth and then played Hacker's Memory to completion and then went back to Cyber Sleuth or something like that, um, which is obviously not the case. So it's it's fine, and I'm really enjoying this game. I didn't mean to pull out this team. I was just grabbing viruses. That is a hell of a scary team. Lady Devimon, Devimon, and whatever Jelly Roll is. Ice Devimon? It's fucking frightening either way. Oh my god, and now they're comboing. That's not safe for anyone. I murdered that panda. I might be the bad guy in all this. That's another hacker down. Next we're going after account scammer Ter Ter Teruaki? Teruaki? Koloon level 5. Ooh, that's a pretty advanced area. I think that's the latest one we've got, or the furthest one we've got. There might be a section that I haven't had on camera before, but we'll see. Oh, I haven't even been to Kowloon level 5. Wait a minute. So I'm going to have to break the firewall first before I can even get there. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Yes, but I can crack the wall, which is good. And the guy wasn't there anymore. On under Kowloon level four, there's still an NPC hacker in front of the wall who's stopping me from advancing. So I guess with this one I'll play it out, because I haven't been to this floor of the dungeon before. And looks normal so far. Maybe there won't be much to check here. Maybe I will time skip over this. I kind of doubt there's gonna be much exciting stuff here. Looks like the log of a hacker who passed through long ago, left as a message for hackers to come. Hacker hint, darkness lies ahead. If you think you're a great hacker, then you know not to underestimate what looks like nothing at all. Eden is just a collection of data. It's easy to forget what the barrage of data sent to Avatar's five senses, but this is not the real world. A place you thought was a path can suddenly become something completely different darkness. It's what lies ahead. If you're a skilled enough hacker to be able to decrypt this log, you should be able to figure out what that really means. I don't until I get there and see it, but okay. All right. Visualizer. Make hidden data visible and detect traps. Can only be used in an area with traps. All right, do I have that? I don't have that. Can I use it? Maybe it just won't let me use it in this area. Have a data Digimon at champion level or higher. Uh, do I? I mean, I must, yeah, I've got a data ultimate. Okay, so that's not going to be a problem. I just need to get out of this fight and get back there. Because I think I'm going to get a lot of experience points in this area, I'm going to go back and grab Oracle. Um, we're going to have to move a few people around. Let's see. I'm trying to think of which ones are actually... Most of these guys are attack, not... Oh, that's fine. We'll move uh, Seraphimon to Farm Island 2 so he can start gaining attack. And Oracle... Ooh, I still can't take her. Um... Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move. Who's my highest Kazer is? All right. We'll just move Kazer over to Farm Island too as well, and then I'll grab Oracle and tuck her into Farm I uh, the party. And there we go. Oracle is still our number four, so she won't show up unless she has to. But this is different and interesting. That's probably what the hint was about the the data thing. I I kind of assume I wouldn't be able to do the data thing without having a champion at, or a data at champion level or whatever. Um, hey, a memory up. Wow. Is this the first time that I've been able to go into a brand new area when the storyline hadn't caught up yet? It's interesting. Oh, God. They're hideous.
Now I'm wondering if a full exploration is worth it. I would get a lot of experience points, but this guy's right here. I think I'm going to hold off on this for now until the storyline takes me back. I just used my Digimon and ka -ching, Cash comes streaming into my account. If anyone gets in my way, I just use my Digimon and put them in their place. Yeah, you can try. Hey, I know one of you. You were evolved from a Togemon. I don't remember the other one, but it's probably yet another evolution. That's fine. What am I dealing with? Two Datas? Hey, uh, never mind. Yes, uh, Enka and Hip Hop, come on out. This is going to be pretty quick. This is why balanced teams are good. I'm also seeing the advantages of the free types. I mean, if you have a defensive free type, then, I mean, it's going to be hard to take them down regardless of what you're facing. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have a tank helping you out. Um, it's a strategy I may do for my side file over with lemons in Cyber Sleuth. Oh, guys, come on, stop missing now. You're better than this. There you go. Easy peasy. Yeah, I got a lot of experience points from that. I can't believe it, I lost really badly. Hey, stop. Okay, I'll stop singing, I'm sorry. I wondered why they were putting that in quotes. So he was singing all of that the whole time. That's so dumb. Um, I'm really torn about advancing. Maybe when, when Oracle... Because Sacrifice is already up to 91 cam. By the time we get out of here, or she'll be at 100 and Oracle might be flirting with 60. Plus, I've got a few items where I can get, or I can get some XP boost. You know what? I'm going to stick around here. Um, I'm going to explore the whole thing out. And I'll just time skip over it. Um, I mean, because, hey, that son of a bitch. Because if I time skip over the whole thing, or if I stay here until we get Oracle to 60 and Wraith to 100% cam, then we can end this episode with getting Ultra Mommy, and that'll be great, because that'll give me a good thumbnail material, too, and I can be all excited for totally not perverted reasons. Anyway, I'm gonna do that thing real quick. I'll time skip back in or cut back in if there's something interesting I find or do. Ugh. The less I see these things, the better. Ugh. So I just got a Friendship DX, and that's a coincidence because I was just thinking there's no reason to hoard items, right? So Sacrifice is up to 93 cam. We're just going to use um, my Friendship items on her, even though she's that close. Yeah, we'll just use a friendship one. Okay, that gets her to 100, and then with Oracle, we're gonna just use the Brave points until we get her to 60. There's 59. So, how much do I need to get her to 60? 6,400. Okay. So, that is probably not even the top one. Yeah, a D and an E, which I have plenty of. There we go. Oracle is now at 60. And Sacrifice is at 100 in cam. So now, I'm just gonna get out of here instead of exploring this out. And it's time for Super Mommy. Oh man, these spiders suck. They just took out Oracle after they took out another one of mine. Uh, Beefcake. Because they have some sort of skill where they have a chance to just insta-kill. Which is cool! I mean, that makes me want one. We've got enough cam that I can... Or not cam, but uh, scan data that I can get my own now. But, man, they're terrifying. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab one once we're out of here. Just to get a page in my book. Alright, first up, we're going to get one of those spider things. Even though it's only a 100% scan rate, I just want one for now. Uh, let's see. Why do I have a platinum poop as one of my... Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spider. Uh, attack heavy. Alright, so we'll immediately move Spider Face over to... 
Farm Island 2. Alright, so here we go. We are going to evolve our girl Oracle and remove Sacrifice. Here we go. So awesome. I'm happy to see how, where this goes. She is fucking rad as hell. I love her. Oh, but she only has one equipment slot. And her attack... Oh, no, she is... No, her attack and her intelligence are about the same. That's interesting. Wow. All right. Learn skills have exceeded the maximum. I didn't know that was a thing I could do. Okay, lost skills. Well, this is easy, because there's going to be plenty I don't use. Like, I don't care about that one. Um... I've been using the upper levels, so I, I see that using a lower level one is cheaper. So, like, Nightmare 1 is worse than Nightmare 2, but it's half as expensive. But SP isn't really a huge problem, and I'm not concerned about too much conservation. So we'll get rid of Nightmare 1. Um, let's see here. Burst Flame... R is helpful. I don't need anti-stun. I'm not going to need the heals that heal conditions. Um, so we'll keep X heal. I'm not going to use ripping net. I'm not going to use nano machine break. Uh, maybe power energy. Oh man, lots of things to do here. Um, not revive. I don't like having revive. Um, so that's fine if we get rid of those six. Okay, so now, can she go up again? No, she is at the absolute highest she can be. She's fucking awesome. And the name Oracle matches her very well. Alright, increases light and dark skill damage by 10% and increases HP recovery effects by 10%? Holy crap! Um... Chaos Degregation reduces HP of all foes by 25%. That's so absurdly OP, especially against a tank. Like, if I have to deal with the Platinum Poop or a, another security wall? Holy crap. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna have to futz with this for a hot second. Um, actually, before I make a decision on that, let me check her leveling... Um, so it's, she's Mega Mommy, because she's Mega. Anyway, um, let's, uh, okay. So I want to see where her attack and her intelligence are over the course of her entire situation. All right, so they're equal. So she has flexibility. Yeah, she's got flexibility. She can be whatever I want her to be. So in that case, it's probably in my best interest to pick attack or de um, attack or intelligence, not both. And I will make her an intelligence mod. So what I'm going to do, as much as I want to fight with her now, I'm going to reduce her attack down to zero, or her, her bonus attack down to zero, and I'm going to stick her back in the farm. Which kind of sucks, because it means I'm not going to be using her for a while, but... When she's ready to come out of the farm, her numbers are going to be just the most absurd. So, I now see also that by using the items I did, like the power pine, early, that was the wrong play. Now I'm seeing what I should be doing with the food. I should be holding off using Digimon food until th that gets them to the their best number. I should be... I should put them on a course that maximizes their ability intake, even though it lowers cam, raise the cam back up, and then give them the power food or whatever, and then that'll probably be for the best. Alright, anyway, it doesn't matter. So right now we're going to go to attack, restraint B, we're going to buy six of them. Which is a little pricey, but not too bad. And we will use... Do... I, I see that we're also over time, which is fine. Okay, Oracle. 
I think I just needed the six. Yeah, good deal. Okay, so now Oracle, yes, just has intelligence. So I've outfitted the, wait, what's her type? Is she neutral? She's neutral. That makes sense. She's a balance between light and dark, so she's neutral. <laughs> ah, some forethought went into the design of her. Um, so, yeah, this is gonna suck that I'm not gonna get to use her for a little while, but it does mean that when I do get to use her, she's going to be kind of absurdly strong. Um, oh, the reason I checked that was I was trying to see if I could, if it was worth leaving the sacred whatever on Farm Island 3 to get her more experience, but it won't matter. So we're gonna shove Oracle into Farm Island 3. Um, I guess we'll... I'll figure out who to pull out for the party. Um, but in the meantime, uh, we're going to get rid of the sacred symbol because I don't have any light elemental mon now in here. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Oracle, didn't mean to feed you. Um, oh, I was going to say that I do have an SP generator here. So I don't... I haven't figured out yet if they are going to gain SP as well, um, or if they're only gaining intelligence because of Brainy, because I have a Brainy leader, uh, Pickles specifically. So, if she gains SP, that's fine, she'll probably need a little bit of it, but if she doesn't gain SP, it's not a big deal, and, you know, she'll... If she just gets plus 100 intelligence, that means she's going to hit like a truck, and it'll be fantastic. So, I now have Mega Mommy. I'm happy, and that's going to be the end of this episode because we're out of time. I thought I'd be able to finish all the hackers off on the list. Um, no, I was thinking about going long on this one. But no, I better pace myself. We'll finish off the hackers in the next episode, and then get back to the... Uh, normal missions, and then back to the MSQ. So it might be a few more episodes before we get back to the plot, but hopefully by then we'll be using Oracle, so can't wait. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.